and welcome to the Clear Method team. We're going to take a nice big deep inhale, so sweep those arms up and around, grab that beautiful energy around you, and a nice big exhale, let it all go. One more nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Sweep those arms down by the side. We're coming into a squat, sweeping those arms forward. And then one more squat, sweep those arms back, nice and deep. And as we come back up, we're gonna tuck the chin, walk it out into a plank position. So welcome to the Clio Method team. From this plank position, pike those hips up, ripple forward back to that plank position. One more pike up, press those heels down, back to that plank position. And we're gonna inchworm those hands all the way back and go back through those two squats. So roll those shoulders back, let's go down for a nice deep squat. Sweep those hands back, one more here. So my name's Yazzie, tuck the chin, rolling all the way down into that plank position. And I'm gonna be taking you through workout number 140. Pike those hips up, press those heels down, ripple forward to that plank position, pike those hips up, back to that plank position. This time we're gonna drop those knees, pushing those palms back, shooting those hips back, little child's pose, holding here. Four, three, two, and one. Ripple forward, drop the hips, looking up to the sky, upward dog and then pike those heels up, little pedal through those heels, sweeping through to a plank position, wrap the right leg around, open up the right palm all the way to the sky, and then reaching that elbow to floor, pressing, reaching, holding for three, two, and one, press the floor away, one more little down dog here, and then ripple forward, plank position, wrapping the left leg around, sweep the left palm to the sky, coming through with that elbow, reach for the floor, holding for three, two, and one, press the floor away, walk those hands in, and slowly rebuild that spine nice and long, rolling those shoulders back. We are into our first exercise with our heavy dumbbells today. I'm gonna try and get you to challenge yourself, so grab those heavier dumbbells, pop them on your shoulders. We're gonna wrap the right leg around, down for our curtsy lunge. That's it, over to the other side. So we've got our hips square to the front, core is locked on nice and tight, and we're just wrapping that leg around, trying to kiss the floor with that knee. Shoulders are open and dropped away from our head. That's it. So today, we have a fun little pyramid workout. We have five exercises that will work our way to the top of the pyramid, and then we'll come back down. Three different sets, three different sets of fresh exercises. All right, team, weights on our shoulders. We're pressing up through the right, dropping down left. So we're just seesawing through those arms. A little bit of a fun press, lock out those elbows. All right, working through those shoulders. Woo, getting straight into it. We have 40 seconds on each exercise. So I want you to stay strong and stay with us here in the studio for the full 40 seconds. That's your challenge today. <sighs> nice deep breaths. We've got 10 seconds till we're moving down to the floor. Let's go team. Punch it up with intention. You're here for a reason. Let's get through this together. <sighs> Three, two, one. Well done. Coming down to the floor with one weight. We're crunching that weight up into a nice little ball and then pressing all the way out. Extend those legs and arms long. Coming back in. So we're in a little cannonball and then we're shooting straight out. Nice long legs, keeping those feet together, pressing through those inner thighs. Belly button is drawn into spine. We're working through this core movement here. A little bit of a heart rate one. We've got 10 seconds to go team, crunch it in. That's it, really crunch that core up and in. Get those shoulder blades off the floor. You have five seconds to go, you got this. Two, one more, and one, well done team. All right, setting up in a side kneeling position. So we're stacked our shoulder on top of our right hand, and we're coming in crunching elbow to knee, lengthen that leg long, elbow to knee, Lengthen that leg long. So when you come with that long leg, a little bit of a glute squeeze. This is a full body exercise. So we're working through those side obliques. We're not dumping down through the side there. Coming back and squeezing it forward nice and proud. That's it, you've got 15 seconds to go. <sighs> nice deep breaths. We're nearly at the top of the first pyramid. Let's go, crunch it in, lengthen it long. Two to go, two. And one more, crunch it in, lengthen long, tap the toe to the floor. Coming up to a standing position, 
We're doing our inchworms, all right? So tuck the chin, roll those hands down, just like in the warm up, walking out into that plank position. Pack those hips up, we walk those hands in. Slowly roll all the way up, hands to the sky. Give me a woohoo, and then we go back down. Let's walk it out. Plank position, we're only doing this once. This is a full body exercise, working through the shoulders, working through the core. Let's go team. We are halfway. Let's push that floor away. Roll all the way up, rebuild that spine. Raise those hands to the roof. Give me a little woohoo. Have a bit of fun at home. Come on, let's go. We've got whoo, one more. Let's get down to that position. Walk those hands out into that plank position. Well done, all right? Setting up on the other side for our elbow obliques. So we come in elbow to knee, length and long. Little crunch here. Make sure your hand is in line with your knee and your little tippy toe points out straight in that nice long line. That's it, crunch it forward, lengthen it long. Really squeeze. Think about those core obliques. Squeeze and lengthen, squeeze, lengthen. We're working our way back up that pyramid. Let's go team, tippy toes. 10 seconds to go. Nice deep breaths, you've got it. Squeeze that glute as you press it out and in, done. Well done, grabbing that weight team. We're on to our backs, back to our ab tuck extension. So we're tucking in that little ball and then we lengthen everything long extend. Draw it in, lengthen long, all right? So the easier the toes go higher to make it more challenging for you today, lengthen those legs and just hover them straight off the floor. <sighs> nice deep breaths, crunch it in. Lengthen it long. I know this exercise is challenging. We've started off with some goodies, but stay with us for the full 40 seconds. All right, team, you can do hard things. We can get back to the top of the bottom of the pyramid. Let's go. Woo, nearly there. We're standing in three, two, and one. Well done. All right, grabbing those weights, jumping up. Woo, let's get ready. We have our seesaw shoulder presses. We're straight into it, locking out those elbows, digging deep to get through this team. It's a little shoulder burner. It gets a little spicy by the end, but you're gonna be super proud once you get through this 40 seconds. Let's go. Nice deep breaths, press it up. Woo. Make sure those, elbow, um, those shoulders aren't shrugging up. Lock out those elbows each time. Press it up like you mean it. Woo! If you need to, you can shake those hips just to get through the last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! High five, well done. Shoulder, um, dumbbells onto our shoulders, keeping those hips square to the front. Wrap that leg around, down for that curtsy lunge, over to the other side. All right, really focus on having those hips facing towards the front. Otherwise, if you're turning to the side, you're just doing a little lunge, all right? So we're getting into different parts of the glute when we wrap that leg around and press it down. <sighs> nice deep breaths, dumbbells are on shoulders and we're doing a little hinge forward so I can really feel it through that booty. All right, let's get it team. Five seconds to go. <sighs> nice deep breaths, nearly onto our next pyramid. Woo! And resting. Well done, shake those shoulders out. We have a 30 second break team. So grab yourself a drink of water, stay completely present on your mat, hydrate yourself, go grab those heavier dumbbells if you're ready for the challenge today. We'll be with you, we'll push you through to the end. All right, let's grab the mat with our bodies. <laughs> so laying on down, tickle those heels, we're setting up for two glute bridges, four crunches. Okay, so I really want you to focus on feeling it through the booty. So press up, one, two, one. Oblique crunches, four, four. Three, really squeeze, two, and one. All right, tickle those heels, press it up, two, and one. We're into the four crunches, four. So looking up to the top of the roof, keeping that gap between the neck, last crunch, and down. Two glute bridges, let's go, squeeze. Squeeze that booty. Let's go, crunches. Awesome little combo, this one. Working the booty and the core, our favorite. Let's go, two glute bridges. Nearly there, let's get those four crunches in. Come on, let's go, four, three, two, 
and one. Well done. All right, team. We have a dolphin pose. So a little bit of a newer exercise. We have done this in the Cleo method before. So we're on our elbows. We're piking those hips up. And then we're going to drop those knees down, just hovering off the floor. We're going in and out. All right. So leading with the opposite leg each time you do a round. So right, left, in, in, left, right, in, in. Squeeze that core. Don't get too caught up on the coordination of those feet hovering in and out. Just make sure you're drawing that belly button into spine, keeping that neck nice and neutral, pressing the floor away with those elbows. You got it. Three seconds to go and done. Well done team. Grabbing those weights. We are into our favorite exercise of the week. Squeezing those glutes. We've got our hands in front. We're opening in the gate, locking those elbows and around into our Arnold presses. That's it team, press it up like you mean it. Working through those shoulders, working through those back muscles. And also, while we're kneeling in this position, give me a little squeeze of that tushy. We're working through those glutes. That's it. Bit of, bit of knowledge. I think these Arnold presses are named after the superstar himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> there we go, so we can, we can be proud to do these today. <laughs> and last one, all right. Team, jumping on up, you can have weights. You don't have to have weights for this one. We are doing a double pulse and press squat, all right? So if you wanna put those weights down, you totally can. If you wanna have a little challenge, place them against your chest. Make sure you, when you're coming down for that pulse, it's coming up a little three quarters, that's it. Nice, so really make it intentional down at the bottom there. Pressing up through those heels and those big toes. Our core's locked on nice and tight. We're squeezing those back muscles together. It's all happening. You're doing really well, team. We're nearly at the top of this pyramid. How good. Well done, team. Double pulse and squeeze it up. All right, shoulders are back, drawn away from our ears. We're in our little split stance. I'm gonna press it up in line with the shoulders and lower it down. That's it. One, two, hold, lower two. So we're taking this one nice and slow. We're getting our breath back. We're working into the full body today, as per usual, targeting all the hot spots of the body. <sighs> nice work, team. Proud of you for showing up. Let's dig deep all the way to the end of the workout. All right. <sighs> We've got 10 seconds to go of this one. Can you give me four more slow controlled reps? Four, well done. Three, all the way up for two, and then one more, that's it. Well done team. Option to put those weights down or have them by the chest. We've got our double pulse squat, let's go. Double pulse, squeeze that glute. Double pulse, lock those legs out, squeeze. That's it. So you should start to feel a bit of fire coming into that booty, a bit of heat through those quads, through those hamstrings, shoulders are back, core's locked on. We got this. Dig deep. <sighs> Pushing through. <sighs> That's it, nice work team. 10 seconds to go. Back down onto our kneeling squat Arnold presses after this. Give me one more and done. Well done everyone. Coming on down to those knees. Again, if your knees don't like kneeling, you can stand up we can flip the mat underneath. Squeeze those glutes forward though. Up, round, lock those elbows out. All the way around. So we close the gate, elbows, palms face us. Then we press up, palms are facing out. Locking those arms out. That's it. Getting that energy flowing. Feeling those good endorphins running through the body. Woo! When you squeeze those arms up, you can let out a little woo if it feels good at home. That's it, nice. Nearly there, you've got 10 seconds. Feel that shoulder burn, oh yeah, she is spicy. <sighs> Squeeze those glutes, tuck that pelvis. We're nearly there, up we go, well done. All right, to the fun little dolphin pose. So we're coming down onto those elbows. We're piking those hips up, press those heels down and then drop those knees, hover. We go out with the right, out with the left, in, in, then lead with the left, that's it, all right. Don't get too caught up of the in and outs. Just make sure you're hovering those, taping those feet in and out as far as the end of the mat and then drawing them back in together. <sighs> Belly button's drawn into spine. 
This one is over before we know it, team. Only 10 seconds to go. How good. Woo, try and enjoy this work. Try and enjoy this movement. Think about that core. You got it. Woo. Three, two, and one. Well done. On to our backs. Flipping around. Our fun little booty core combo. Tickle those heels so we really feel it through the booty. Squeeze it up for two. And one, four crunches. Let's go squeeze, four, three, two, and one. Try and make every move intentional. Thinking about that mind to muscle connection when we squeeze that booty, squeeze that core. One more crunch, back to the two glute bridges. Let's go two, and one. Let's go four, well done. Three, two, and one. Let's get one really good round in two. One, pressing up through those heels. Let's crunch it for four. Three, last round on this circuit, and one. Woo! Well done, team. Grab yourself a drink, but don't go anywhere. We have one more pyramid to get through, and this one's gonna be the funnest, I promise. Woohoo! Done so well, team, so far. Nearly done, and then hopefully you can get out for a nice little walk after this. Keep those good endorphins flowing get into a nice, amazing day. All right, coming on down, we're starting off in a four point, four point position. We've got our shoulders stacked on top of our hands and we're coming up with the right leg. Flex heel, we are pulsing. Oh yeah, that's it. Really squeezing through that glute. We've got our two hips facing the floor and we're pressing the mat away with our hands. Core's locked on super tight, and we are pulsing that heel. We're high-fiving that roof. That's it. You got 20 seconds to go. Small but mighty move. Woo! Don't drop that knee. Keep those pulses nice and strong. If it doesn't challenge you, it's not gonna change you, so stay off with us for the last 40 seconds. Let's go. Woo! Oh yeah. High five, well done. Shake that booty over to the other side. Let's go, flex that heel, little pulses. Trying to keep that spine nice and neutral as well, so look to the top of the mat. We don't wanna be cronking our neck and looking back. Everything's in line, everything's fine. <laughs> we got this. Pulse it up, squeeze that belly button in. Woo! Mind to muscle connection here is so strong. Really think about that booty. That's it, all the other jobs can wait. You've got 10 seconds to go. Woo! We're moving on to arms after this, all right? So make sure you go all the way with this one. Squeeze, squeeze. Three seconds, two, and one. Oh yeah, love that. Again, we're into our kneeling bicep curls, but if your knees aren't enjoying the floor, you can stand up or you can flip over your mat for more comfort. So squeeze those glutes So We're coming in bicep curls, lower down, that's it. Palms are facing forward the whole time. We're squeezing those glutes, we're having fun. We're nearly at the top of the hill and then we come back down. I love these pyramid ones. You feel like you've achieved something and then you come on down and then it's done. All right, 10 seconds to go. Really squeeze those biceps. We've got our elbows locked into the sides of our body. Each rep, you're getting stronger and stronger. All right, squeeze that booty. Three, two, and one. Into our core exercise now, team. So we have our palms facing forward right next to our booty. We're coming in, tucking in. We're gonna go one side of our mat, Squeeze it in, over to the other side. That's it. Nice work, team. So crunch in, lower back. <sighs> really try and reach nice and long back. Crunch it in. <sighs> Next round, if you want, you can put your drink bottle in the middle so you have something to work around. We're really crunching it in. We've got 10 seconds to go. And then we have our final exercise before we go back down. Woo! Nearly there, give me four more. Come on, four, three, Two, and well done, one. Oh, well done. All right, flipping on over, team. We have a commando with mountain climber combo. So we're setting up in that nice, tight plank position. We're gonna drop down the right, drop down the left, press the floor away, come back up. Right knee over, left knee over. All right, let's lead with the left, right, press it up, press it up, left knee. And that's it, so work through that combo. Trying to keep those hips down. Core's locked on nice and tight. 
We're not racing through those mountain climbers. Everything is done with control for this one. Woo! This is full body at its best team. And we're nearly at the end. Come on, one more mountain climber and one more commando mountain climber. You got it. Side to side. Woo! That went so quick. I was enjoying that. Could have done another 40 seconds with you. What do we reckon? No. <laughs> All right. Tuck those little knees in, press them out and out. That's it. Home stretch team, stay present, stay focused. I promise at the end you're gonna feel amazing. So let's get through this together. 20 seconds to go. Woo, this one's strong, but we're nearly there. Crunch it in, press it out. If you need to take it a little slower, please do. Slower the better. That's it, nearly there. Five seconds, one more each side. And done. Oh my, wow, well done. That is a strong core one, but we got through it together. All right, let's set up kneeling bicep curls. Squeeze it in, lower it down. Elbows are nice and close to the body. We're squeezing in those biceps and we're lowering back down. Again, this one's a good one to check in with yourself to see if you're lifting and heavy enough for these workouts. All right, so for the last 10 seconds, I want you to really focus in. If it's not challenging you, it's not gonna change you. We need to do a little bit of progressive overload. So for these last 10 seconds, I'm hoping that it's feeling nice and strong. If not, next workout, we need to up those weights. One more squeeze, well done. All right, no more weights for the rest of the workout. Two sides of these donkey kick pulses and we are done. All right, flex that heel, we're doing the right to start off with. Let's pulse him. Check back in with our setup. We've got our shoulders stacked on top of our hands, belly button drawn into spine. We're not opening up through those hips. Those hips are facing the mat. Woo, that's it, pulse it. And kick, and kick, Woohoo! All right, nearly there. Squeeze that booty. Who doesn't love a little donkey kick? <sighs> Maybe 40 seconds of pulses. We might be questioning the love, but we'll get there. <sighs> Five seconds, three, two, one. Well done. Shake it and move over to the other side. All right, last exercise. We've got this nice big stretch coming up after this. Pulse it up. <sighs> You've set yourself up for an amazing day. Amazing night, we're nearly there. Let's pulse it all the way to the end. Squeeze that booty. <sighs> Don't give up on me now. Don't get distracted by anything else. Stay strong all the way to the end and make sure you stay for the two minute stretch. <sighs> so you can really bring that heart rate down. All right, let's go. We've got 10 seconds to go. Give me all you got. <sighs> pulse, pulse, pulse. We're nearly there, five, Woo! four, three, two and oh my one rock those hips side to side moving through a little cat and cow and then back through to neutral and just rock the hips side to side one more like that cat and cow little dancing cow when you come back through to neutral hips rock side to side open those knees out nice and wide we're pressing back into a child's pose Nice deep breath here, just bringing that heart rate down, taking a moment, breathing in through the nose, holding at the top, and a nice big exhale, let it all go. Pressing those hips back a little further, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Coming up onto all fours, we're gonna thread the needle, so raising the right hand up to the sky, reach and look to the palm, and then thread the needle through. We're gonna move through that two more times, reach for the sky, and then thread, really drop that shoulder all the way down, reach that palm, open, and one more. On the next one, we're gonna keep our shoulder down, and then take our left palm and reach for the top of the mat. So just stretching out through those shoulders, through those lats, holding for three, two, and one, and then over to the other side, up into our four points, opening up through the left, threading through, dropping the shoulder, and open up two more times. Really reach for the sky, drop that shoulder, one more, 
and we're gonna stay with the shoulder to the floor, reaching that palm out and taking that right arm nice and long, reaching for the top of the mat, feeling that nice side body stretch. Stretch through those lats, those rhomboids. Really reach for three, two, and one. Well done, everyone. Coming to a seated position. Let's sweep those arms up and around and clap those palms together. Closing down those eyes, taking the palms to the heart. And let's just take a moment, think of one thing that you are grateful for today. Let that gratitude fill up your whole body. And we are so grateful for you for showing up and working hard. We've got Workout 141 tomorrow. Can't wait to see you then.